We're still monitoring developments in the power sector. As the Minister of Power, Adibaya Adilabu, says electricity subsidy cannot be sustained and that Nigeria must begin to move towards a cost-effective tariff model. And Mr. Adilabu addressed a press conference in Abuja where he mentioned that the country is currently indebted to the tune of 1.3 trillion naira to generating companies as well as another 1.3 billion dollars for gas companies. TVC News, Habida Lawal has more. We are also establishing a customer complaint escalation center. This year, 450 billion naira was budgeted for subsidy, but the ministry needs over 2 trillion naira to pay for it. Minister of Power, Adebayo Adelabu, said state governments will now be allowed to generate electricity independently to supply power to their state. Over 50 billion naira has been earmarked in the 2024 budget to build mini grids to supply power to remote areas. He read a riot act to the electricity distribution companies, urging them to sit up or have their licenses withdrawn. It is either we look for money at all costs to fund the subsidy because of the political situation of the country and the hardship people are passing through. Or we bite the bullet and everybody on the other side says, okay, let's bring the roof down first. Let's reflect everything on market commercial basis. Then we start a rebuilding. Because it is postponing the evil days if we continue anyway. So I am not calling for removal of subsidy before they misquote me. But it's a decision for the entirety of the country to decide. These are assets that we spend the, country, the, the country's money on and our brothers, part of us, will deliberately sabotage it. So you can see that some people are hiding somewhere that do not want this sector to work. The minister also said the frequent collapse of the grid, which has occurred about six times between December 2023 and February this year, is caused by shortage of gas, old and obsolete machines in the grid value chain, low capacity of evacuate generated power, and destruction of power stations in some part of the northeast geopolitical zone of the country. Habida Lawal, TVC News, Abuja.